Carl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I was over at Walmart the other day. I know many of you aren't fans of Walmart, but they do have some decent stuff every now and then. And Heart Tools, which is the same company that makes Milwaukee, Ryobi, and a few others. Uh, Heart Tools has a rolling storage cabinet. Now I bought this for one reason and one reason only and after we go through with the overall uh, use of this box I'm going to show you why I bought it. But in the meantime I have somewhere up I have another giveaway that we're going to do. Now this is a moisture meter. Uh, what you do is just turn it on, poke the probes into a piece of wood, a piece of drywall, whatever you might need to get the moisture content from, and decide if it's ready to use or you need to let it dry out a little bit more. But anyway, this is going to be in a giveaway. I did a review on this uh, a year or so ago and never used it. So I'm going to be moving here shortly. So this is another item that's going to be given away. The first item was a Goaxi fully stocked rotary tool. So uh, stay tuned and I'm going to tell you how you can get a chance to get this moisture meter. And we're going to go over this heart rolling tool cabinet. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's a three-part organizer. The bottom part has wheels, and we're going to go over this one part at a time, starting with the top, going to the middle, then the bottom. Okay, the way this latches is it has these blue tabs right here, and they pull in and out. And... just lifts out. On the back it has these little tabs that fit into a little slot back here. So you just put it in, push it down, lock those blue tabs in. Now that is the same way on all of these and you can add more. You can buy these individual at Walmart. So let's go ahead and look at this one. Small parts organizer, two latches on the front, has a steel bar with a plastic edge, I mean plastic handle. Uh, open this thing up. Inside has two, four, eight, it's got ten, two, ten compartments, eight of the smaller ones. Two of the bigger ones. Little slot right here in the middle to hold, hold extra things. Okay, these small compartments are four and a quarter by three and five eighths by three and three eighths inch deep. And they, they do have a little taper on the sides. The flat ones that are a complete square will hold just a tiny bit more. Now the longer one is just eight and a half inches. So the other dimensions would be the same. The lid has this little bump out right here that sits in right here to help keep these trays from moving and of course if you don't need these all these trays you can take out what you don't need clear top so you can easily see what's on the inside nice hinge on the back with a steel rod let me clamp this shut and 
One thing that you will notice that some of the other boxes don't have is these feet on the bottom. So it can stand straight up and down like this. Many of them fall, such as other makers. They don't have those extruded feet right here. So you can easily just take this and set it down. It won't fall over. Okay. Here's the bottom. Pretty self-explanatory here. Let's put this one aside. Let's go with this mid-size one. Uh, the top one doesn't have a lock like this one, so you can put your own special lock on here. Carry handle right here if you just want to carry it separate from the other pieces. Same type of latch. But on this one, it has an inner tray, which is a good thing to have. Let's check the interior dimensions which is 10 and an eighth and by we're gonna go by the small portion right here it is seven and three quarter and just over two inches deep so here's a closer up view of this the tray so pretty simple design and it fits. Comfortably right here. There we go. You lock this up, get it out of the way. Now the bottom box, first we'll go over the dimensions. Let's open this up. Interior dimensions is going to call this 11 and 3 quarter by what we're going to do from the handle to the handle just under 17 inches and just over 14 inches deep still smells like plastic okay the wheels they are plastic wheels which roll pretty smooth the wheels are 7 inch in diameter here we go and the handle just push this blue button handle raises up handle goes back down it has a little pocket right here for uh, whatever you might want to put in it tape measure just whatever has a little step right here so you can put your feet on it your, or your foot and when you go tilt it back you just tilt it back without it kicking out from under you good feature to have hmm pretty nice little box here now granted this is not as strong as some of the other makers, such as a Milwaukee Packout or the uh, DeWaltz or even the uh, Craftsman Trade Stack. This is a Craftsman Versus Stack. I use this one a lot. But Craftsman also has a Trade Stack which is bigger than this. But around $85. For the three pieces at at Walmart, not too bad at all. I can see women that uses a uh, lot of sewing or knitting or or something to that effect, using this to carry their stuff around. Maybe go to their meetings. I'm gonna use. I'm fixing to show you what I bought it for, but 
This has many, many, many uses. Let me click this back in. Push it to the back. Down. Lock it into place. There we go. Picking it up. Here we go. Pushing it back. Push it down. Lock it into place. Hmm, I like this. So let me come over to the camera, give you a, another view of it. Let me zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Here's the sides, here's the back. This is that foot section that I told you about, right there. So, what am I going to use this thing for? Let me get rearranged. I'm going to show you. Be right back. Okay, here we are. I still have a little bit zoomed in, not completely, but what I'm going to use this for, many of you know that I have a small knife sharpening business that I do on the side. And this is going to hold several of my sh sharpening stones, my knife sharpeners, or, or whatever you want to call these. This is going to call, hold several of my tools for knife sharpening, such as I've got several of these smaller sharpeners like this. Throw those in the, in the bin. I've got a puck. Some people call this a hockey puck. But it is a stone. Put that in there. This holds sanding belts for another sharpener I have. So let's go ahead and put this aside. My electric sharpeners are going to be on the bottom, such as this Chef's Choice electric sharpener. Let's put this in here, right there. I have a Work Sharp Ken Onion Belt Driven Knife Sharpener. This is going to go on the bottom with the other electrical stuff. I have a Smith's Belt Sharpener. Boy, this was more or less a waste of money. Put that in there. Let's see here. I've got some more of these. Put these in this box. I'll go back and assort these again later. I have another Smith's Edge Eater. Look pretty interesting. Haven't tried it yet. There's a close up of it. But I'm going to do a review on this in the near future. My manual sharpeners are going to be in the middle box. So let's open this up. Put this down right here. Put this handle down. Okay, my manual sharpeners. I have a. This is another Smith's tri stone. Let's see 
here. These are Harbor Freight. Not the best quality, but they do have a use. Here's another Work Sharp bench stone, which is a pretty good one. Uh, let's see here. This is my other electric work sharp. I'm going to have to put that in the bottom by itself with the other ones. Got some belts that can go in there. Let's just put this right here. Anyway, I've got several, several knife sharpeners. Here's another one. I bought this set on eBay a couple of years ago. And to be honest with you, I forgot I had it. It's at one, one of my drawers. And I, I paid under $10 for this one with shipping. So I'll look for a review for that in the future. Here's another one of my favorites. It is a Warthog. I did do a review on this a while back. But this is what it looks like. Right here. Not to be confused with the one that's inside some of the stores that are the same principle, but doesn't work near as good as this one. Anyway, this is going to be my knife sharpener's case, which is almost perfect size for what I need. If you've got one of these heart rolling tool cabinets, let me know how you like yours. What do you use yours for? Shoot me a comment and put it in the section below. Now, how can you win this inexpensive? I'm not going to tell you this is the best one on the market, but it does work. How can you win this moisture meter? Well, on this video, leave a comment. You have to be a subscriber, and that's all you got to do. I'll randomly draw a name. When we get 50 comments, I will leave a message in the uh, video. That's When we get 50 comments, I'm going to decide with a computer program how who is going to receive this. Hmm. So, must be a subscriber and you must leave a comment. I will ship it to you. Free of charge, even shipping is going to be free. So, how you like this little cabinet? I think it's going to work out good for me. I do appreciate you watching.